Some more spindle weed. We are certainly getting our fair share of uh, ingredients. And of course, it makes sense because most of them are located outside the city. Twin Fangs. Attack with double daggers. Good use for, uh, or good ability for Isabella. Ah, an enchanted staff. We're finally starting to get some magical items here. Dead end. I don't think this dungeon is particularly big. That's rain. Some arrows now. Yeah, that worked. Whoa, someone's really happy about something over there. Here. Oh, and a slaver mage. Okay. I see something shiny. There we go. Another enchanted staff. I doubt any of them are as good as what Bethany has, because she has one of the DLC staffs right now. step and the boy dies this is as close as i get <laughs> can i just say that has got to be my absolute favorite uh hawk insta kill in the whole game um unfortunately uh you can only do it if you're a rogue so if you're a warrior or a mage hawk I'm afraid you're out of luck on that kind of badass move. Boom! You would have let him kill me! He had a sword at my throat and you just... I mean, thank you, but... What if you were wrong? I'm never wrong. Huh. That must be convenient. <laughs> Who are you? Are you working for the Templars? Your mother sent me. Huh. Hardly a difference. I can't believe her. My whole life it was all, I'll love you and protect you. Then I have some bad dreams and it's off to the Templars. I'm here to help you, Fainreal. Why? You don't even know me. I've spent my whole life protecting my sister from exactly what you fear. Would... Is there any chance you'd help me reach the Dalish? That's where I was trying to go. See if they'd take me in. I'm as much Dalish as human. You'd be alone among the Dalish. Even more than a Dalish would be here. Compared to being held prisoner, or made tranquil, I'll risk being lonely. Look, I know it's different in other kingdoms, but here, no one helps circle mages. Anything the Templars don't like, you get the brand. The Dalish. They've had magic forever. They could teach me. I won't be a danger, I swear. If there is another place he can harness his gifts, I cannot blame him for wishing to go there. Because no Dalish mage ever went astray. Oh, always with the counterpoint, Fenris. Was your mother right? Are you plagued by demons already? I can't say for sure. I have... Dreams. There are voices in the dreams. They ask me to come, to give shape to the void around them. But the Dalish Keeper is wise. If anyone can help, she can. 
So, we have basically two choices. We send him back to the circle, or we let him help him find the Dalish. And, um, since Hawk is kind of a compromiser, I think, I mean, she does, uh, you guys voted for her to be, you know, have the personality that she kind of sees both sides of the story. I think she does see a purpose for the circle, but more so for mages who are obviously dangerous. While Fenril does have these dreams, he hasn't actually done anything yet that might uh, depict him as being murderous or, or evil or dangerous. So, perhaps the Dalish can help him. So let's see if we can help him find them. I know the Keeper. I'll make sure she takes you in. Then... she does not hate humans. Oh, you don't know what a relief that is. I knew she could help me. Thank the creators, you were the one my mother hired to find me. I will forever be in your debt, friend. We should tell his mother. She'll want to know he's alive. And of course, Fenris doesn't like that. Because mages are evil. But anyway, too bad. <laughs> we made our decision. All right, let's just quickly loot this place and we'll be on our way. Where are we, with Fenris, right now? Eh, we're still slightly in the f in the friend zone, if you will. So, with this decision, that means that from now on, if we stop by the Dalish camp, we will see Fenril there. I think there's an exit right over here. They're usually pretty good about placing exits, so you don't have to do a lot of backtracking in uh, most of these dungeons. Backtracking in the main areas, however, is a different story. You've enjoyed many, I suspect. Where I come from, they're called tattoos. Sailors get them all the time. Not made of lyrium, I'd imagine. <laughs> Not a one. And the pictures are different. Usually breasts. I suppose a pair of lyrium breasts tattooed onto my chest would make things better. That's me. I'm a helper. <laughs> Another good uh, relationship I like is the one between Isabella and Fenris. Gotta give credit where credit is due. Um, the vast majority of the banters and the relationships between the followers are pretty fun and um, just nice to, to see develop over time. Should take us back here. interesting sky. There are some uh, nice mods that will increase the resolution of textures around here, improve the overall look, especially of the outdoor areas. Um, unfortunately, though, a lot of them tend to make the game, for me, run a little slower, which is, what I'm, which is why I'm uh, not using them at this point. Okay, finish up the quest down in Lowtown, just tell Fenril's mother that he is safe with the Dalish. You'd think there'd be a, a part of the quest uh, to actually go and um, ask the Keeper <laughs> if it's okay if Fenril stays yeah, with her tribe, but apparently it happens off-screen, because you, you I was don't have to do it. Still, it was your home, right? The only one you remember. Does it ever feel strange not to be there? Sometimes. That does not mean I would go back. Okay, we need to get over to the alienage. Hey there, lovely. Uh, no thanks. Yes. 
Your son decided he'd rather be an elf than a Templar prisoner. He joined the Dalish. What? But he is human. They did not even wish me to raise him among them. But they do value magic more than the men of Kirkwall. Perhaps he can have both safety and freedom. As I said, I have little money. But this is a Dalish ring that has been in my family for generations. Please accept it with my thanks. Okay, and let's see, this ring has attack and physical damage. Yeah, we could use that. And let's see, what we got some amulets here. Plus 22 attack and plus 7 mana. I'll take that. Ooh, we're getting close to our uh, inventory limit, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop by Gamlin's house, because since that's our home base, it is the one place where you can access everyone's inventory screen. I once slept in on the docks of Val Royo. <laughs> uh, thanks, Isabella. So this, your home base is where you have access to all of your companions' uh, inventory screens simultaneously. So if you want to distribute a whole bunch of loot to who, uh, or gear to anyone who might use it, this is the time to do it. Or that said, actually no, I guess not. I guess I misspoke. I apologize for that. Huh. Drat. <laughs> ah, I guess I was thinking of the party camp in the original game. That's what I was thinking about. Yeah, well, we'll chalk that up as one more um, on the negative side for this sequel, is that you can't actually do that. Oh, well. Hawk, I've got a lead for you. A merchant I acquired goods for told me that workers have gone missing from his bone pit mining operation. He mentioned that the missing miners were Ferelden, which made me think of you. If you're interested, go hit up Hubert in the Hightown Market. Signed, Athenril. Ah, she's still sending uh, jobs our way. So we'll accept that, and we'll be doing that probably a bit later. Another one from Athenril. Hawk. I know we didn't part on the best terms. You were right. I was trying to squeeze more work out of you than was justified. You've more than paid uh, your way into the city. It's been tight since you left, though. If you're looking for more work, for real coin in your pocket, come see me in Hightown any time before sunset. Okay, we'll go see our old employer. And finally, Act of Mercy, proud scion of the Hawk family. I dare not contact you directly, but we have met before, and I know you to be a person of good character and unusual ability. Indulge me in, meeting outs in a meeting outside the city, for I require your aid in a delicate task. As a token of good faith, I have enclosed a modest sum. There will be more waiting if you can help. Please contact. Please come as soon as you receive this. If you do not, the lives of many innocents will be on my hands. Sincerely, a friend. So I got several new quests there. Carver never told you, but he was a bit jealous that Mabari chose you and not him. Ah, oh, poor Carver. There's a good boy. At least the dog is happy. Okay, well, I'd still, I guess I still need to go to a marketplace then. Um, let's go up to Hightown. Uh, let's see, who am I going to take on the next quest? I'm going to take... I'll take Fenris again. Uh, I'll take Anders. And... Let's take Meryl. Yeah. That's what I want. <laughs> I always have to think ahead about what quest I'm going to do and who I want to take with me. Okay. So we're going to go to the gallows first because we still have that letter about 
uh, Thrask's daughter, um, and we know that she's now dead after being possessed by a demon, so we're going to have to let him know. So we're going to go to the gallows first. Then we'll make it... Well... Let's see, is there anything else to do in High Town? Yeah, we need to go up there anyway. Okay. Yeah, we'll go to the letter gallows first. <laughs> Sorry I'm being kind of flaky here. Just want to just wanna try to do this in the most efficient order I can. Otherwise, I'll be doing a lot of back and forth. I've heard about the circle of magi outside of the Imperium, but I've never been in one. Are you certain it's wise for us to come here, considering who we're with? I don't think the Templars will be surprised to see another mage here, do you? Hmm, maybe not. I'll try to look sufficiently meek and oppressed. You're not helping. This seems more like a prison. I wonder if it's more effective than the circle I know. How is the Imperial Circle of Magi different? Once upon a time, it was as it is here. The Chantry watched the Magisters closely for any signs of corruption or weakness. Then it changed. The Magisters were permitted to watch over their own, and Templars kept only to enforce the law. What happened next was inevitable. The Magisters rule again. As powerful as they ever were. You said the Chantry used to watch the Magisters. Why did they stop? You must remember that the attitude towards magic is different in Tevinter. Magisters came from wealthy families, bloodlines that had nurtured magical talent for countless generations. The Chantry was not trying to control poor peasants, but the scions of the greatest houses in the Imperium. I thought the Magisters had been thrown down by the Chantry. On the contrary, Andraste never defeated the Imperium. A great army conquered the South, but not the North. The Magisters eventually surrendered to the Chantry, but they did so on their terms. They kept their influence. Thus, they reclaimed what they lost over the centuries. Some battles are lost by inches. You talk about the Magisters as if they are all evil. I have no doubt that some are good and noble men, strong enough to resist temptation. But how many temptations do you wish to offer a man before he will give in? Blood magic is everywhere in Tevinter, from the lowliest apprentice up to the Archon himself. You can't have seen this for yourself. <laughs> Daenerys talked about it often. Of course they say it's forbidden. Behind the smiles and closed doors, however, it's a different matter. To be a Magister in Tevinter is to be glorious. To be a powerful Magister in Tevinter, that is worth any price. You're saying the same thing could happen here? If the mages were permitted to be their own watchers, of course. It is too easy for a mage to resort to blood magic if they feel the need is great enough. As easy as it is to resort to a sword. You were created as a living weapon. Should you not be trusted with your freedom? My powers are not controlled by a demon. A mage can desire power, justice, revenge, protection. Any cause will do, and then they are lost. You can't say every mage is corrupt. All I am saying is the Imperium offers no answer. All that Andraste did long ago to end the tyranny of magic has been undone. She ended the tyranny of magic and replaced it with an entirely new one. Considering all that magic has done to my homeland and my race, I weep for your predicament. Power corrupts, as they say, and mages have power enough already. What the Circle does here is better than the alternative. An alternative I am very familiar with. Alternatives are so wonderful for those who have choices. Herding mages together and putting them under lock and key? It can't be the answer. Freedom is a noble ideal, but I see no oppression here. I see fear and danger. But enough. I'm sure we came here for a reason. Ah, oh, we did indeed. After a four-way debate there, almost. <laughs> Alright, um, Anders, we'll give you more magic, and 
willpower and give you just a little bit of dex since it's kind of low. And we'll give him some more healing abilities. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I mentioned it before, but pretty much every... or I didn't point it out. Um, every character has <clears throat> their own specialty tree down here in the lower right, filled with abilities that only they can do. Not even Hawk uh, has some th these particular abilities. So I like to fill those out because it gives them a little bit more of a unique flavor uh, as an individual character. And it's our first time, I believe, down at the gallows. Ah, yes, the record keeper. I think we have an item for him. I think I found something of yours. This was free of its handler. Well, you're a lucky one. Thank you. Was he talking to me or the map? <laughs> Anyway. I am glad to stand here day after day. It is predictable. Hmm, sounds like a tranquil over there. Ah, welcome, my dear friend, to Sol's shop. My name is Solicitus. Please take a look around. My apologies in advance. Our shelves are a bit bare at the moment. Actually, if you're interested, I could use a bit of help to remedy that. How can I help? It's been too dangerous to leave the city of late, and the substances I require for my creations are, of course, elsewhere. Uh, perhaps you could find them. You'll be compensated for your time, have no fear. I'll also give you first pick of my new creations. Hmm. A glorious fetch quest. Make up a list of what you need, and I'll keep an eye out for you. Perfect. A discount on everything in the shop, Sirrah. All right. Well, what do you got in your shop so far? Eh, not bad selection there. Sell off some junk. Welcome back to Souls, my friend. Mage goods. Yeah, you can if you if you want to check out some of the latest um, mage gear. You can always come back here. I don't think there's anything off to the right, is there? No, not yet. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk to Thrask. We have found neither hide nor hair of the lad, Fainreel. I can only think he has fallen victim to demons or slavers. He has gone to his mother's people to learn their ways of controlling magic. I had not realized the Dalish took in Half-Bloods. It is an interesting solution. And well out of our hands now. He seems like a reasonable guy. I found this. It was addressed to you. It seems to be from your daughter. My daughter? Then... You know what she is. How she died. When I traced her to that warehouse, I should have forced her into the circle. My own weakness in the face of her pleas is what destroyed her. It is why I urged Ariani not to give in when Fainreel wished to hide. If only I had been so strong for Olivia. Well, at least you don't have to worry about the Templars finding out anymore. Thank you. She is at peace now. I would not wish to see her name smeared while her ashes are still warm. So, yeah, um... You can... Keep a secret or basically ask for a bribe not to tell anybody, um, which only Fenris will approve of. Again, Fenris is a little bit unreasonable when it comes to uh, supporting the Templar cause. I was. I met a warden once, back in Ferelden. Duncan, I think his name was. Very odd man. He had a marvelous beard, though. I'd never seen one before. I thought a squirrel had grabbed him by the chin. <laughs> ah yes, no facial hair for elves. That conversation will actually be slightly different if you load a save game from Dragon Age Origins where the hero of Ferelden was Dalish. Because then, of course, uh, Meryl will know the hero of Ferelden personally. And so she'll talk a little bit about that. 
Okay, so the next quest we got was... Oh, no, yeah, it's going to be outside of town. But I wanted to go to Hightown first. There's a number of, number of things I want to do in here. So, when you first did Blood Magic, it was just an accident, right? You cut yourself and realized the power. You didn't actually deal with a demon. Oh no, I did. Why would you do that? I needed his help. He was really very nice about it. Of course he was. He's using you to get a foothold in a mortal brain. He's a spirit. He offered me his aid. I hardly think you're one to criticize. Oh, that's a bit of a burn from Meryl there. Citizens of Kirkwall, my dear wife Nanette has gone missing. I shall reward the person who returns her safely. Questions about the bounty or Nanette? Come speak to me in the High, Cal High Town Market. Ghislaine de Carac. There's Hubert. We'll talk to him later about the Bone Pit. First off, let's just do a last little check here to see if anyone has any because we got let's see we got those new staves but oops I'm looking at armor Duh. okay here we go yes these are good upgrades upgrade okay oh and her first weapon is the demonic rod how nice <laughs> I really need to do some selling off here. Anyone missing a ring? Meryl needs a ring. Okay. Let's quickly sell this stuff off. My apologies if this is boring, you guys. Okay. Um... Da, 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 da. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff here. You can uh, you notice that the uh, backgrounds to the items have different colors. That's a general idea about their relative uh, strength. The uh, Bronze ones are low, silver is kind of in the middle, um, and the uh, green ones are particularly good. Okay. Now I just get through all... We don't need to worry about saving any special armor for the companions, because they have their own armor, so we can just get rid of all this stuff. And we are rolling in cash now, if you look over on the upper right. And now, hopefully, we can... Don't have to worry about inventory space for a while. This is another person we need to give a random item to. Yes. I heard you lost something. This it? I, I had never thought to see this again. Thank you. You're welcome. I need to find my wife. Will no one help me? What do you mean you can't help me? This is a domestic matter, Sirrah. If your wife has chosen to leave you, there's nothing we can do. Ninette is my wife. She's legally bound to me. Bring her back. We're done here. <laughs> Useless. Why are we still paying those slugouts? You should pay someone else. <laughs> like me. I like being paid. If you can find Ninette, I will gladly pay you. That foolish woman has caused me nothing but embarrassment. She needs to be dragged home. I can't imagine why she might run away. <laughs> <sighs> yes, yes, my wife and I don't get along. But that's not the important thing. Her family is getting suspicious. They think I might have <clears throat> done something to her. Even if... Well... I just want to make sure they know I didn't do it. 
Charming. Why would her family think you did something to her? They think I married her for her inheritance. And they know we have been fighting. They believe this is reason enough for me to hurt her. But I swear, on Andraste's pyre, I have done nothing. Do you think Nanette might be in trouble? It's her own doing. Gallivanting about with men half her age. She's just trying to show me I am tied to her purse strings. You're more concerned what her family thinks than what happened to her? Ninette keeps the company of other men, huh? And makes no secret of it. I'll be better off with her gone. <sighs> well, as long as her family knows I had nothing to do with it, they would ruin me otherwise. I can't imagine why she'd leave you. You're such a prize. It wasn't always like this. We were in love once. She defied her parents to marry me. Sometimes, I wonder if I dreamed those years. How long has your wife been gone? About a month. I wasn't worried at first. She's run off before. Ninette is uncontrollable, you see. She comes and goes as she pleases. Well, I'm not particularly interested in helping this guy just to clear his name and keep his inheritance. But I guess we can see if something bad may have happened to his wife and maybe, hopefully, if, if she's still alive, help her out. I'll try my best to find Ninette and bring her home. You should talk to Jethan at the Blooming Rose. I didn't know she visited whores until Jethan sent a letter. To our house! He even sent her flowers once. Lilies. Hmm? Her favorite. No! Ah, talking about it makes my head hurt. Good luck to you, sir. Welcome, merchant. And so begins a story that's going to have more, much more to do with Hawk than it first seems. But we'll get to that later. Another random piece of loot to deliver. This fell into my hands. Recognize it? You just stumbled on this? Can't say I'm surprised, bloody fools. Let's see what else. Check out the map here really quick. couple other quests around here to do, or at least to uh, get initiated. Vivian will be devastated if I don't find Taffy. Have you seen... Please, can you help me? My brother. What happened to your brother? Karen was always so devout, so idealistic. He was so proud when the Templars accepted him. I pleaded with him not to join the Order, but he wouldn't listen. You hear dark rumors about the Templars and Knight Commander Meredith. And now my brother is gone. What do people say about Knight Commander Meredith? Oh, she has many admirers. They lord at the service she does in keeping the mages in check. But others say she is terribly fierce, and utterly without pity, that she sees demons everywhere. It is dangerous even to whisper such things. What have you heard about the Templars? People harboring escaped mages just disappear. Templars interrogate and threaten passers-by. My friend has a cousin who's a mage, and she says he was made tranquil against his will. You hear more with every passing day. Can't say I'm too surprised about that. I'm here to help you. Just tell me what you know. Karen would write me every day. Then suddenly, no more letters. I wrote him many times with no response. I tried to see him, but Knight Commander Meredith threw me out. They won't tell me anything. 
Your brother may indeed be in trouble. What can I do for you? Perchance. In your journeys, if you find yourself in the gallows, ask the other recruits, Wilmard and Hugh, about my brother. They were Karen's closest friends in the Order. If anyone knows where he is, it's them. Make her bless you and watch after you in this endeavor. Okay. So, let's see, that's about <laughs> three or four quests uh, initiated there. I think that's enough. There's uh, a few other around here, but I think we'll leave them for another time. Otherwise, we're going to start losing track of what to do where. Alright, so now let's go outside. This is where the letter said... Yep. This is where the letter said that... Um, uh, from the a friend person who said that uh, he needed our help. We're under attack. What a surprise! Indeed. Go down. Whoa! We have some dragonlings. That's new. Didn't have no idea that there were dragons in these parts. I guess I, sh I, I don't have to be extremely surprised, though, since we know that uh, Sundermount is around here, which means that Kirkwall is near a mountain range. And dragons in this universe seem to really like to hang out around mountains. Anything of interesting up there? No. I think we need to go this way. And it's Thrask, so I guess he's the mysterious friend. Mistress Hawk. Ariane tells me you sought a better path than the circle for her son, Fainriel. I thought perhaps you would be willing to show mages a kindness once more. Can I get the details before I agree? There are a number of apostates hiding in those caverns. We are not going to kill apostates for you. I was hoping you might speak to the group. Convince them to surrender peacefully before my fellow Templars arrive. Who are these apostates? Where did they come from? These are the mages of the former circle at Starkhaven. It burned to the ground and their Templar sent for us to relocate the survivors. Unfortunately, they escaped on the journey. With their phylacteries burned, it has been nearly impossible to track them. Do the other Templars intend to do worse than recapture the mages? Sir Caress is a knight lieutenant of the Templars, a great crony of Meredith. Should he find apostates hiding from pursuit, Meredith will consider him justified in murdering the lot of them. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can re resolve this a bit more peacefully. I would not like to see this become a massacre. Thank you. Your compassion does you credit. These mages have shown they attack Templars on sight. You have a better chance than I to convince them they are better off alive in the circle than free and dead. Sir Karas hunts them as well. If they have not surrendered by the time he arrives, this will be a bloodbath. Alright. Well, we'll see if they attack us on site as well. <laughs> 